This is me here eating at the oldest surviving restaurant in Los Angeles County. I am in the area of Santa Clarita, specifically in New Hall, standing on these really wonderful historic uh, railroad tracks right here. And I'm here in this neighborhood because I am going to be eating at this restaurant which is right behind me across the street called the Original Sagas Cafe. This is an interesting place because apparently it is the oldest surviving restaurant in Los Angeles County. And it was established in 1886, which means as of this day, it is a 134 year old restaurant. I mean, how does a restaurant like this stay open for such a long time? What's the secret? Is it the food? Is it the ambiance? Is it the nostalgia or what is it? And that's what I'm gonna be trying to figure out in today's episode as I step in there and to observe the whole place, to give you a tour of this historic restaurant, as well as to try the food. And if you guys like this episode and what I'm doing, then please subscribe, as well as watch all the way to the end to, of this video so that you can really see what all the hype is about at this place. Apparently this restaurant was established in a time in which there was like a railway that connected San Francisco to Los Angeles. So when a lot of the travelers would come through, they have to stop at New Hall and then they would get off and they would need to find somewhere to eat. So they would come into Saugus Cafe and that's how it grew in its popularity. And then it apparently it's this place has also been very popular with a lot of celebrities as well because during the Golden Age Hollywood, when they shot a lot of westerns out here, a lot of movie stars like Clark Gable and John Wayne uh, would come here and eat at this place. Isn't that something? And surprisingly, even presidents have eaten at this place too, like Theodore Roosevelt back in the really, really old day. So this is definitely a very unique establishment, not just in Los Angeles, but in California as well. This is a place that opens 24 hours, so you can kind of say it was like, almost like a precursor of like Denny's. You know how it's like a cafe, a breakfast restaurant, but it's also kind of like a lunch and a dinner, like really old school American diner. That's exactly what Original Saugus Cafe is. And yeah, so they have a wide variety of stuff they're cooking, but it looks like right now, most of the stuff that they're making are breakfast items. In terms of the food, they've got like a like a little bit of everything. They have like their breakfast section right here, which has all the traditional stuff like ham and eggs and pancakes and steak and eggs. And then um, if you go a little bit further down, they have like lunch, which has like you know burgers, sandwiches, kind of like all the old school American stuff. All right, so the first one I got is the chili. This one should be pretty exciting because I always like to eat chili. It's always a good appetizer to start off some breakfast or just any snack in general. Yeah, very nice taste to it. It's like it tastes, you taste a lot of the brown meat inside of it. And just very slightly spicy, not too spicy. And what I really like is like the cheese that's inside of it. The cheese just really gives it like this whole nice cheesy flavor to it, which is very rich and satisfying. Overall, this is good. This is a good way to start. So, so far our restaurant's doing good. Well, let's try it with some of the, let's try it with some of the crackers. Dip it here. Mm. 
I think crackers or chips always good to go good with the chili. The next one I'm gonna try are their biscuits and gravy. I don't want this to get way too soggy, which means I gotta eat this like right now. So anyways, the uh, biscuit, <clears throat> it has a nice size to it. Yeah, definitely a little bit fluffy and the gravy is like this kind of like pearl white color to it with some, I guess, pepper in it as well, which is very nice. Honestly, I don't really eat biscuits and gravy that often. I probably only had it like five, six times in my life, so I can't tell you like what the best of it is. This one has a pretty nice taste to it all around. Like the biscuits are nice and soft, it's not dry at all. And the sauce itself, you know, it's creamy, it's pretty good. Yeah? How could you not have a traditional American breakfast without some you know, pancakes right here? Syrup right there. Mm. Oh, these pancakes are good. Oh yeah. You know, I, I'm really liking these pancakes a lot. I think these are one of the best pancakes that I've had in a restaurant because it's like, it's so fluffy. It's, it has a nice sweetness to it. It's almost like, kind of like borderline dessert type of a pancake. And the nice creaminess of the butter and the syrup all around. This is a knockout. This is a winner here, for sure. I'm surprised. I didn't really expect that. All right, so that's the country fried steak that I got. Look at all this beautiful fat potatoes that are on this dish. It is like so, so lovely. Nice. That steak as well, and some of those scrambled eggs. <clears throat> mm. Has a f fairly fresh taste to it. The only thing that I can really say about this is it's a good tasting traditional country fried steak. There's nothing innovative about it whatsoever. It's not groundbreaking. It is predictable, but at the same time, it's done really well in the predictable sense. Just very old school country fried steak. That's all, I, that's the best way I can put it. All right, so now the last one I'm gonna try is the crepe. Since I don't wanna eat this during my meal, this is what I need to eat at the end. The presentation surprisingly looks a lot better than I thought because it looks fancier, I would say. <laughs> Put that in my mouth right now. Oh, okay. So it looks like I have some strawberries inside and some of that uh, chocolate or is that Nutella? Yeah. The crepe has a nice texture to it. Strawberry definitely tastes fresh. Nutella. Of course, always adds like that chocolatey flavor to it. This is a very solid dish that they have here. So I would say if you come here, this is actually worth ordering. Yeah, here at this this uh, cafe, this crepe. It's really nice. So from what the server has told me, this place has really survived for such a long time because uh, there's a lot of loyalty here. A lot of the customers that come here are regulars here all the time. They are like family. Everybody knows each other's names. They treat each other so well. And I guess, of course, you know, the food is good enough for them to come by as well. So yeah, it's very interesting. It just shows how there's a lot of sentimental value to this place and how the power of hospitality just really works its wonder in keeping this place alive for so, so many years. I don't think I've had a breakfast like that in a long time. So that's why I do find this to be a very nice experience type of foods that I would eat if I were out of town traveling and just going into some cafe or diner. Well anyways, in regards to Original Saga's Cafe, so what do I think about it? Does this restaurant stand up in comparison to many other new great breakfast restaurants or cafes in Los Angeles in general? Well in terms of the hospitality, it definitely does stand out because everybody in there is close, they know each other. In terms of the ambiance, I would probably give it about a 4 out of 5. In terms of the actual food, I would say probably a 3.5 or 4 out of 5, something like that. So I would say that my final analysis is that I think for the most part it stands up fairly well. It's not like one of the best uh, cafes or breakfast restaurants I've ever had, but it definitely is not bad either. 
Well, anyways, that's my analysis of the oldest restaurant in Los Angeles County. And I hope that helps you if you think about um, wanting to come here or wanting to explore this historic landmark. If you enjoy what I'm doing on YouTube, then please uh, give me a thumbs up on this episode, as well as comment below if you would like to comment on any other great historic restaurants that we should all check out, maybe even in Los Angeles. And finally, please subscribe to Rockstar Eater. All you have to do is go down to the bottom, hit the subscribe button on the right hand side, and you'll be getting these episodes on a weekly basis. So until my next great restaurant adventure, maybe some other old establishment out in Los Angeles. I hope you have a great day and you'll try some of this really old ancient food someday soon.